Let's go together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Here at the college basketball experience on the red carpet, baby. Indeed, taking it home. But we are checking in at the college basketball experience. Squad taking it all in. Some pretty cool names on the wall. Don Haskins, coach of the first all-black team in NCAA. Had black players. We got uh, Urban Magic Johnson here. We got Coach K here. We got, who else we have? We have some really cool, Pistol Pete. Some really cool people in here. George Mikan. Man. Where's Austin Carr? We got a little ND love. Austin Carr here. Did in the art of scoring, Austin Carr lifted his game to new levels at the most opportune time, tournament time. Here it is, Coach Coach Bray and Thomas Hill, one of the guys he recruited out of Texas. He's a Texas guy. So, you know, nice to meet guys. We got guys all over. Coaches coaches over recruits and his new, and his new players. He almost went to Kansas. That's right. That's right. We got you out of it. He talked you out of it. Went on probation. Because Bray came and got me. Maybe not talk with them personally, but thinking about stories, how they would have handled things. Uh, you know, so I, again, I think you draw you know, your mentors and how they handled you. It's something you draw on on a daily basis. Yeah. JG doing some of the interactive things at the college basketball experience. Got a score of seven. Who wants to challenge him? I think Patty's going to take him on. Yeah, Stay chest pass. Oh, see, Patty's got Patty's got the strategy down. Still tied. That's it. Look it up like that. Looks like he got the score. Okay, EA stepping up into it. EA's ready to go. Oh, now they're going back at. Now they're going at each other. We have a duel. Wait, wait, wait. Press that same time. Jay's got three. Eric's tied. Oh, it's close. Five to five. Six. Eight to, eight to six. Ten to, oh, ten to seven. Thirteen to nine. Sharon's falling behind. He keeps hitting me with the rock. <laughs> It was like EA takes on the victory. I'm too real. This is what I do. Welcome to the College Basketball Sports Center. Uh, national championship game in uh, San Antonio, Texas. Football uh, for uh, Jayhawks versus uh, Tigers. All right, here we go. 10, 10 point eight seconds left. There it goes. Make the critical free throw. Put Memphis up by three. Collins puts the ball up the court. Nine seconds. Eight seconds. He loses it. Thomas gets it. Three. It's good, it's good. Everyone's going crazy. Ah, ah, ah. It was crazy, damn. You see that? 20 years of waiting. And the Jayhawks have come with their fifth national championship. Look at them dancing around, man. All those Jayhawks in the NBA now ain't doing nothing, but it's all good. Nah. Two words. Send the game into overtime. I'm on the board for the last Too bad it wasn't overtime, man. It wasn't good. Here at Notre Dame, we take our faith life very seriously. Check out Father P recording, getting his J on, baby. Father P, show me your form, baby. Woo! That was wet. Show me another one. Oh, woo, woo. <laughs> Leave it hanging. <laughs> On our way out. Headed to the bus. Tomorrow's a big game. So long, Irish fans. Peace out. Hello, Irish fans. Jack Nolan coming to you from Gonzaga University. The Irish getting ready to take on the Zags. And look who's here, folks. 
Seattle Seahawks tight end John Carlson, of course, Notre Dame tight end. Guy who knows a little bit about basketball, and uh, how you doing? I'm doing great. You know, unfortunately, I had a little shoulder issue this year, so it's keeping me out of the football uh, football stuff. But it gives me a great opportunity to come and, and do stuff like this and see the Irish play some hoops tonight. Yes, you were a star tight end at Notre Dame, but you also play basketball at Notre Dame because you were a basketball star in high school. I practiced basketball at Notre Dame. Uh, for one season, it was a blast. You know, I'm, I was very fortunate that, that they let me do that. Um, you know, Coach Bray and his staff. Uh, so it, I, I have great, fantastic memories of that time and hanging out with you and all those road trips. Um, so yeah, I'm very thankful that I had that opportunity. You know, it's, it's going to be a great environment to play basketball. I've never been here before, but, but it looks like it's going to be kind of a, a rowdy crowd. I, I've got high hopes for the Irish tonight. I, I'm not going to put any numbers on it, but I've got high hopes. Hey, you're on the IR now because of the injury you talked about at the beginning of the interview. How are things looking for next year? You know, it's, it's an interesting time for me. I'll be a free agent at the end of this season, and uh, you know, it's a time of transition. I'm not sure what will happen if I'll, I'll end up being with the Seahawks. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed my time in Seattle. Fantastic organization to play for, and you know, we had we had a fun little run at the end of the season last year, making the playoffs. Um, so. The NFL is an, is an interesting, uh, you know, it, it, it's a great thing, but, but it's always kind of a time of transition because you never know uh, what, what the future has in store. But it's exciting. I'm very happy and thankful to be where I'm at. And the Irish in home white, controlling the tip there. Dragovich can't get it to go. Cooley with the rebound. Dragovich for three. That's good. Five seconds, Atkins takes the three. Look at the rebound and the putback. His love to play. Atkins for three. Move the ball from side to side against the zone. Get it inside like they did there to Cooley. Cooley just turned around. There you go. 25. Five to shoot. Grant for three. Oh. Money. Notre Dame 87, Maine 78. It's a hell of a win for us after the week we've had, right? To earn that, to scratch that out. Well, we had game pressure on us. We had to make different lineups, different guys playing. Still learning about our team, like I told you that last time out. And that's okay. But what we need to do is think about getting our rest tonight. We're in a real development stage right now. So we need to come back, focus, have a good practice, not a long one. And we need to win two in a row before we go into exams. Your home win streak's now at what, Bernie? 25. 25. We will keep on rolling in here but different guys making big plays for us. Guys weren't playing well, so they came back around and played well. I mean, that's gonna be our, that's gonna be who we are. I don't know who it's gonna be. I'm not sure who it's gonna be starting, and I'm certainly not sure who it's gonna be finishing either. But that's okay too. All right, bring it in. Great right. job, guys. Good work, good work, good work. Let's bow our heads. Father, thank you for helping us play together as a unit and keeping us away from injury through your name we pray. Amen. Amen. One, two, three, yeah, good, good work, yeah. good work. This is the fifth meeting between the two schools. Atkins steps back. Cooley trying to get the rebound. Brooks battling for it. He comes up with it. Works the glass. Can't get it to go. Cooley again. Count the basket. Turnaround jumper by Ruffle. Here comes Brooks. Brooks able to stay with it. And he's going to get the basket. And the concentration this team has when they play at home. Nice pass. How about the dunk? Dragovich. A little slow motion, but he's delivering it right there down the rim. For Coach Bray and his Irish, they have now won 26 games in a row here at home. Good, methodical team win. Defensively excellent. Um, but our big guys, so what? We, we talked about pounding away with our big guys. We did that. We adjusted. Guys off the bat, you know, just be ready to go because everybody's going to be in there. I don't know who's going to start Saturday, but you know what? Tonight it didn't matter. Guys are just subbing in and playing and helping each other. And, and you know, we had a thing where a guy got, you, you got 20-something the other night and tonight. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll adjust to how we're being played. Okay, so I, I think we came back from D.C., and we needed to finish with some momentum, and we did. We practiced well, and we had good experiences here. We got a little juice, but now let's use that going into exams. And this is a tough week, I know. It's a really tough week. I'm going to let Pat say a few things before we break. But the key thing is 
you know, try and you got to eat. Like we're already down. Make sure you eat and make sure you get some sleep. I know you're not going to get great sleep with papers, but stay on top of your stuff and handle your business. If you need anything, stay in touch with Pat. Like handle your business. This is a big week for us. You know, we've we've gone in. We're going in in good shape. Don't take that for granted, right? It's like being up 15 and you stop playing and they hit a couple threes on you and you screw up the exam. So let's finish that thing up. And what a great challenge for us because Indiana beat Kentucky today. We got a heck of a potential great win on the board for us down in Indianapolis. And you know what? We've been on the road a lot already. There are a lot of teams that haven't been out on the road. You know, we've grown up on the road. So I think it's, I'm looking forward to us in this road atmosphere a week from today. But a great job. Bring it in. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good luck with your tests. Take care of yourself. Let's bow our head. Father, thank you for helping us play together as a unit and keeping us away from injury. Through your name we pray. Amen. One, two, three. Good. Good work. Good work. Good work.